Today, I'm going to be combining all the best players from college rivals Ole Miss and Mississippi State to see if they can win a Super Bowl here in Madden 24. In this rebuild, Eli Manning is going to get five years to try and accomplish our goal. And with Dak Prescott, A.J. Brown, D.K. Metcalf, and a pretty solid O-line, I think we can make some magic happen. Defense has a few weak spots, but I think there's enough talent to keep us in games. And I kind of forgot to turn off injuries, so we'll be missing Montez Sweat for the first six weeks. I have never done a rebuild quite like this on my channel, so please leave any tips or feedback in a comment below. Now we've got all of our mistakes out of the way early, so now it's time to send to midseason and see where this team is. Oof. Okay. Not exactly what I was expecting. Let's see what has happened so far. Lost by only a point to the Cowboys, then lost to the Cars, but beat the 49ers convincingly. But in the last four weeks, we've gone 2-2, two and two, and Montez Sweat should be back by now, so I have confidence in these guys to turn this around. The rest of the schedule doesn't seem all that difficult. So it's time to go ahead and sim again and hope for the best. Alright, looks like we ended up winning the division, finishing at 11-6, and six, and then the number two seed in the NFC. Not bad for the first year. The Cowboys and Eagles made it in two, and the Vikings and Bengals take the first round buys. They both had great seasons. Packers and Ravens had great seasons as well, going 12 and five. We got a whole bunch of upgrades and we're gonna spend all of them before our first playoff game. So now let's go ahead and advance to the next week and see if we'll be advancing to the next round. And we did it. We were able to beat the Cowboys, but we got another tough test in the Packers. Not gonna waste any time here. We move on to the championship, and we do! The Eagles make it here as well. We went 1-1 one one against them in the regular season, and now we'll meet them for a third time here in the playoffs. And just like that, we have made it to the Super Bowl in our first season. Josh Allen and the Bills will be our opponents. Not gonna worry about the Pro Bowl, we're gonna assume straight Super Bowl week. The Bills are the better team here, but I'm expecting a close game. Joe Burrow takes home MVP, and Eli Manning just barely misses out on Coach of the Year in his rookie season. Dak did win best QB, and the surprising name to show up here is Joe Flacco. So now all that is left to do in this week is sim and see if the all sip team are champions. Oof, okay, we came so close, but no cigar. We lost 10 to 13. What a boring Super Bowl. We still have four seasons to try to get it done though. We somehow lost with Josh Allen not eclipsing 200 yards and not scoring a single touchdown as well. Dak was sacked five times, so that's a big reason for the loss. And with three sacks, Von Miller wins his second Super Bowl MVP. Two of our players did retire and the draft doesn't have much at all to offer us as I can only draft players from Mississippi State and Ole Miss. We get a new O lineman and that's about it. We drafted a couple running backs and they'll probably never see the field. So this is what our team looks like for season two. One thing I was curious about is what Elijah Moore's overall would be at running back. He's not the biggest guy, but I'm not worried about that since we're just simming games. And okay, he's way higher rated than I expected. 87 overall is a huge upgrade from 72 overall Zach Evans. We'll definitely be moving forward with that. Which means that Jonathan Mingo will be playing in the slot from now on. But now it's time to sim to midseason and see where we're at. Okay, much better start than last season. The whole division seems to be good this year, and we're tied for first at 5-2. and two. Every game except for one has been really close with us coming out on top more often than not, winning three in a row against some pretty good teams like the Ravens and Bengals. I went on and sim to the playoffs and we're back. We made it back with 12 wins this time, and the Chiefs had a phenomenal season, finishing with 14 wins, only three losses. Dak had a solid year, 4,400 yards, 32 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. Elijah Moore's season at running back wasn't horrible, but not as good as I had hoped, just shy of 1,000 yards and 9 touchdowns. Our opponents will be the Lions, but let's sim to get the results, and we pick up the win. Now the 49ers are the only thing between us and the Super Bowl. Well, we're back in the regular season, and our first game is against the team that crushed my hopes and dreams just 10 seconds ago. Not much going on in the offseason. We got one decent rookie, but only an offensive lineman, which is nice, but it doesn't help us. The defense got zero help, and Darius Slay regressed hard in the offseason. So I fear our chances are slipping and fast. Oh man, we have front row seats on the struggle bus right now. And what makes it worse is they were all super close games outside of week one. And yeah, I kind of lost hope mid-season. We finished six and 11 and missed the playoffs. Finally have a skilled position to draft. 
Please have hidden dev. Yes, let's go. Hidden dev with 94 speed and 95 acceleration. Uh, Elijah Moore has a 90 overall rating, but he didn't perform as well as I hoped, so I think I will start the rookie. And Darius Slay did retire after a rough year three, so now we're counting on this D-line. Montez Sweat, Chris Jones, and Sam Williams are going to have to step up big time. Simming to mid-season, our record has flipped from last year. We're 6-1, and one, and we finally beat the 49ers, so that's got to be a good sign. And we're back to the wild card round. The Saints made it as well. Hopefully, they'll be our first victims. We had a few struggles to end the year, losing really bad to the Eagles and then by three to the Seahawks. Wow, Dak put up big numbers. This has to be an MVP caliber season. 45 touchdowns, 4,900 yards, and only 10 interceptions. That is definitely his best season in his career. Rookie Tyrone McLeod struggled by only scoring three touchdowns and less than three yards of carry and under 800 yards. Man, I hate to see that for him. I was really hoping he'd explode like Alvin Kamara or Zeke did their rookie seasons. AJ Brown had an awesome season. 19 touchdowns, almost 1,700 yards. He has done exceptionally well every year, but this is by far his best. Mingo had a better season than DK, and Evan Ingram shined at tight end as well. But it's time again. We got to sim and see if we'll be advancing. We meet again. One last roadblock, and it's a team who has proven they can stop us, but we didn't beat them once already this season, but a lot more is at stake now. The winner will be going to the Super Bowl, and it will be the All Sip Squad. We are finally making it to another Super Bowl, and it will be against Justin Herbert's Chargers. Coach, what would a win mean to you? It's everything. We only have one more shot if we fail here. I believe in our boys. Dak has the talent around him to make it happen right here and now. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Mahomes wins MVP and Dak gets snubbed yet again. Man, this hurts so bad. We lost by a field goal. Herbert gets Super Bowl MVP. We scored 18 points in the fourth trying to make a comeback, but our defense couldn't hold out. Dak played exceptional and it just wasn't enough. Our run game was non-existent, so that didn't help. AJ Brown did everything he could, but let's not dwell on it. The boys couldn't get it done, so we have one final shot, one final season to do this. I simmed straight to the playoffs and we did make it back. Finished 11 wins, six losses, and on top of the division. And look at this, CJ Stroud and the Texans got a first round bye, and the Chiefs took the last spot in the AFC. 49ers are back again, and the Vikings take the first round by in the NFC. And we got a ton of upgrades that I'm not fooling with, and we did beat the Packers in the wild card round, so now we match up with the 49ers yet again, this time in the divisional round. 